In this video I'll be showing you how to remove the stock exhaust on a Honda 919. I think this applies to all years from 02 to 09 or 07, excuse me. Uh, so I'll be showing you kind of how to do that. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the seat. I'm going to remove this uh, uh, handle on the back. There are these plastic plugs that just pop out, bolts from underneath. So I'll be removing that plus this, uh, the back panel. And then I'll be showing you the brackets underneath that we'll be removing. And we'll go from there. Okay, I've removed the seat. Uh, and the back handle. What I'm going to do now is remove the back fender and you do that by grabbing hold of these little clips here. You spin it so you can see it. Uh, if you notice you will actually squeeze those with pliers. This uh, rivet there will pop out. There are two bolts back here with the rubber top on it. You're going to remove those rubber tops and remove those bolts and hopefully it should slide out. If there's any more bolts I'll let you know but I think that's it. Okay, I just removed those two retaining clips here, and I also removed the bolts in the back. Um, you do have to remove the two wiring harnesses for the tail light and blinkers. Uh, if you can see on these, you push back on these clips and they pull out sideways. Just FYI. Also, notice on the back fender here, when you replace it, this locking mechanism right here is what gets pulled forward by the key latch. And so, when you pull this back, you want to make sure that that latch goes that uh, goes in around that that locking mechanism. I'm sure, you won't be able to get it on without it, but I noticed that when I took it off. Uh, this next part, we're going to be removing these bolts here on either side that hold the main canister on. I'm also going to be pulling the heat shielding off right here, and then there's also a bracket underneath. You can see it back in there. There are brackets on either side uh, that clamp down to the Y pipe, and I'm going to be taking those off. Uh, without those removals, uh, the whole assembly should come right off. And then I'll take another video of the sound with the uh, stock cans off of the bike. Okay, I just removed the left, left exhaust can. A uh, couple of quick tips that I noticed that made it a little easier getting this off. Uh, this clamp here. Uh, both this one and this bolt up here are 12 millimeter. Just to let you know the same size. I already took the bolt out on that one. Uh, I only loosened this one and then I loosened that one just to make sure that it, uh, it wasn't going to fall off on me. When I took the can off, I've got it down here. When I took it off, I actually rotated it out from right here so that that uh, didn't get in the way. So I rotated it out when it, once this other uh, spot was loose and then I pulled it, pulled it off to kind of wiggle it off. Uh, just a helpful tip. Um, I'll do the other side and uh, go from there. Uh, one last thing I wanted to mention, when you take off these smaller heat shields on the side of the pipes, uh, the way they slip on is there's a couple of little rubber grommets. Don't lose those, they come off pretty easy. Um, they slide off and these uh, inside there, those slide into those grommets and then the bolt goes on the outside. So when you take those off, Make sure you don't lose those rubber mounts.